Hi, my name is William Green. I had the tremendous pleasure of working with Michael O'Brien on The Great Minds of Investing. Michael created 33 extraordinary portraits for the book, uh, traveling around the world to photograph everyone from Warren Buffett to Charlie Munger to Irving Khan. My responsibility was to create profiles, written profiles, that would accompany his portraits and would add a different dimension to the book. For me, it was a fascinating opportunity to spend time with these remarkable thinkers. They're, they're mavericks, free thinkers. They don't see the world the way that most of us see the world. And I wanted to learn from them both how to invest, how to become wealthy, but also how to live. I, I saw it as an opportunity to question them on a really wide array of topics. For example, how you balance work and family, how you deal with stress, how you overcome adversity, how, how, how you bounce back from crushing setbacks, which, which pretty much all of them had been through at some point in their lives, uh, where they got their strength from, whether it was from uh, philosophy, their family, spirituality, whatever it might be. And so really, I, I was looking to make the profiles as much a, a kind of compendium of life lessons as it was a, a compendium of wisdom about investing itself. But I, I think actually the two are not mutually exclusive. These are, these are remarkable people, and they've thought very deeply about their lives and about what works. To give you an example, I had the, the great pleasure of having uh, um, an interview with Monish Pabrai that I think lasted about six hours in Irvine, California. Monish is a remarkable investor, but also a, a great philanthropist and a generally larger-than-life character. He discovered Warren Buffett when he was about 30 years old, saw Warren Buffett's extraordinary rates of return, and thought, well, I can do that. And um, so he set about reverse engineering what Buffett had done. And he launched essentially a 30-year game, as he described it, to turn $1 million into $1 billion by compounding at 26% returns annually. And so what was fascinating for me uh, with someone like Monish was that he felt like you don't actually need to have any original ideas at all in life. You, you can simply study the great minds, the great, the great investors who, whose ideas are already out there, and then reverse engineer them. So part of, part of what was interesting for me was to figure out what, what can I learn, what can I reverse engineer from, from these people. Another person who had an extraordinary influence on, on me was Arnold Vandenberg, who has one of the most incredible life stories in the book. He was, he was born on the uh, same street as Anne Frank in Amsterdam. He was hidden as a child for the first couple of years of his life. He was sent to an orphanage. He was smuggled into an orphanage by a stranger who had never even met his family, who risked her life to get him there. And uh, his parents were sent to Auschwitz and survived. And Arnold came out of uh, this orphanage at the age of six, barely able to walk because he was so malnourished. Uh, his parents actually survived Auschwitz, picked him up, but he couldn't even recognize them by the time they came to pick him up. They then went to East Los Angeles with him, and he was a, a young, very fragile, frail kid who was beaten up a lot. And, and he had this remarkable transformation where he went from someone who seemed to have no chance in life to someone who now has a very thriving uh, money management business with about 40 employees. He oversees about $1.6 billion in assets, and he's beaten the market over the course of a 30-plus year career. So what was fascinating for me with, with Arnold Vandenberg was to see how his obsession with, with the mind and with self-belief and with visualizing one's dreams had, had enabled him to uh, you know, rebuild his life. So for me, Arnold Vandenberg and Monish Pabrai uh, are just two of dozens of examples of people who, who went through hardship, survived extraordinarily difficult situations, a achieved remarkable things. You know, Mo Monish's parents went bust multiple times, and Monish likewise had uh, said to me, you know, I, I, I learned from my parents never to get rattled, uh, and however bad things get, never to get rattled. And so... Uh, for me, there are tremendous life lessons in this book about how you deal with hardship, how you overcome the difficult moments in your life, uh, and also what matters in your life. You know, a lot of these people, whether, it, whether it's Arnold van Berg, Monish Pabrai, Mason Hawkins, Warren Buffett, they're people who are tremendous philanthropists as well, who, who realize that what's given their life meaning is not becoming enormously rich, but, but sharing what they have. So I, I hope that for anyone who reads this book, they feel that they'll, uh, they're learning things that will help them as an investor, but also that they're learning things that will help them in the rest of their life. Thank you.